Uh, this Wednesday marks the February National Letter of Intent signing day, the once day that was designed specifically for football athletes who have not yet formalized their college plans. Athletes like this guy right here, Oceanside's quarterback Kyrene Beecham. Mr. Beecham, welcome back. To Thank the you for having me. You bet. Thank you for braving the raid conditions. Uh, right now, you're, you and your brother are you're playing basketball together, right? Yes. So you owe me a big thank you. Explain why you owe me a thank you. Uh, uh, we were doing uh, conditioning drills today, and we were preparing for a vista. Yeah. So right now, if you weren't sitting with me, you'd be running uh, gassers. Yes. So uh, that's <laughs> come on. Hey, you know, you got to experience your your basketball career, your football career, playing with Cameron, how uh, much taller sibling. Yeah. He's gonna be a basketball D1 guy, right? Yeah. Uh, what was it like sharing having a family member in the huddle? Good, bad, or indifferent? Uh, it was awesome. Um, we have an unbreakable bond. Uh, on a basketball court, he does what he wants, and I support it. And I'm always there for him. In football, he always cracks jokes, and everybody laughs, and we just, we just go at it. Have a. You play quarterback, throwing to him, right? Yes. But po folks don't know because you were so good at playing quarterback, is that you're not supposed to play quarterback. You are by trade. A wideout. Wideout, but because you're incredibly t talented, the Pirates needed a quarterback, and you end up playing, putting up numbers like Michael Vick. Did that help or hurt you in the recruiting process? Uh, it helped a lot. It uh, showcased my leadership, uh, adapting to offense, um, making audibles left and right, and uh, sh showing people what to do. I bet, because you, as a quarterback, you have to know what everyone's doing. As a receiver, that's only going to help you at the next level. So with that said, you were the Offensive Player of the Year as far as the PPR was concerned. Do you remember this moment? We're going to roll it. All right, San Diego, the winner is one, two, three. Kyron Beecham! I'd like to thank God. I love you, Mom, and I love you, Dad. Thank you for everything. Dude, that was a great <laughs> suit, man. Where'd you get that? Um, my little brother had it for uh, homecoming, and my mom said it'll look nice on me. So uh, what would, did you enjoy your midway moment? Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, my mom had fun. Uh, my aunt have fun, and uh, my brother have fun, too. All right, before we get to the decision, I just want to relive my favorite moment. This was on the PPR. Uh, you came in as a guest, and we were talking about your psychology career, your ability to read people. And then we asked you to say which one of these young people ate the last donut or last fudge brownie. Go ahead, roll it. I'm going to have them turn around one at a time, and you're going to tell me by their body position which one ate the chocolate donut. Candidate number one, please turn around. Candidate number two, please turn around. Candidate number three, please turn around. Candidate number four, please turn around. <laughs> you were able to decipher that it was that guy. Why? How? What? Just his body language? Yeah, his body language was weird. All right. Well, let's get to where the re <laughs> let's get to the reason why you're here. Your family's here. Uh, your mom's got to be proud as punch. We have her wired up for sound. Uh, first of all, identify everybody who's there. Mom's in the middle. Um, Cameron's. Uh, my little brother is the tallest one. <laughs> my mom is very special to me. And my aunt, she's done a lot ever since we moved in with her. What do you want to say to your family members? Um, to my aunt, I love you and I appreciate everything you've done for us. My mom, I'm going to wait. Uh, you, you go last. You go last. My brother, um, <laughs> I love you, and um, my mom, I love you, and I appreciate everything you've done for me, going uh, through thick and thin, even though um Got it. <laughs> mom, you got 10 seconds. Express your love. I love you, too. I'm very proud of you. I'm glad this day is here. Oh. I'm about to cry. <laughs> All right. That's, that's a pure emotion. All right. Drum roll, please. Is everybody ready? Mr. Beecham, this is your camera. Tell the world your decision. Um, for the next four years, I will be attending... Oh, hold on. <laughs> for, uh, for the next four years... Um, yeah, you're going to be studying at? I'll be studying at the University of... Idaho. You're going to be a Vandal! <laughs> Explain why, why, why Idaho? Uh, their coaches, um, they were just straight up with me. They've always been there. Um, they're just, um, they're, 
they're so strict about student athletes, and they always want uh, every player to succeed in life. All right, young man. Thank you. I bet this is weight off your uh, shoulders, huh? Yeah. Thank you for sharing this moment. Make sure your brother doesn't uh, back out on us when his his time. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna have Jaden Wickware and Raiden Hunter in from San Diego. They're gonna be making their college attention zone. Five o'clock news class is five o'clock newscast is over. The six o'clock newscast is about to begin. <laughs>